Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, J City Reviews. Thanks for stopping by today. We've got an exciting unboxing video of a Casio G-Shock. And you might not believe this, but this is my first ever G-Shock. I have a couple Casio Pro Trex in my collection currently, but for some reason I've never owned a Casio G-Shock. And this one is quite crazy i have to admit and uh right off the bat i don't think i'll be keeping it in my collection but when i saw this on ebay i said i gotta get that i don't think i've seen that anywhere else on youtube um, so i want to review it on my channel i believe this watch is a japanese model as far as i can tell but let's get into the unboxing real quick and see what we got here here's some instructions and a nice plastic sleeve very nice everything looks like it's in Japanese so won't be too helpful for me I have to uh, get a translator or something there is a little bit of that not too interested in that though at this point. Let's get into the box. Let's see the watch. Nice little G Shock box here with some texturing there. And there is the watch. Oh man, it's super bright. Even underneath the plastic and blurry like it is right now, but you saw the thumbnail and you clicked on this video so you already know somewhat what this watch looks like well, let's break it out here and see it in all its glory now i forget the exact model number for this watch is it here let's see oh here we go ga 400 cm 4A JF. You can see th with these icons here some of the features it has. I assume this number over here is the movement 55398 as that matches the information booklet here. But is this a crazy colorway or what? Man, I believe. They call it the Breezy Rasta, so it kind of has an uh, island feel, a Caribbean feel to it with the colorways, I, I, I think. And uh, even underneath the band, you see they threw in some of that, uh, I guess you'd call it a, a teal color on the back side there. And they have some of that playing in on the hands and the dial as well. Um, don't expect too much in this video as it's just basically an unboxing and first impressions, kind of just showcasing, showcasing this watch real quick and stay tuned for a full review, uh, of this crazy colored Casio G-Shock. It's quite unique for sure. Got some of the modes there, alarms, timer, to test out that light at another point. Just put a stopwatch timer there, okay. This crown is quite unique. Look at that. Let's try and focus in on that a little bit. I don't know if it's really picking up too well with the lighting, but it almost looks like a a fan, the fan blades, or uh, maybe even a car rim or something like that, or a turbine. It might be what they're going for, I'm not quite sure, but seems to be, I don't know, is it a screw down crown? I know one of my Casio Pro Trex has a screw down smart access crown. This doesn't Appear to be unscrewing or anything like that so I don't think it unscrews and screws but it seems to just be turning here so 
You must be able to use that to adjust something in a certain function, and I assume that because of the arrows that are here as well. I know nothing about this watch, as you can tell, um, but stay tuned again for that full review. There's the back side of the case. Really nice watch, it feels great. It's got this nice buckle with this double tang, I guess you'd say. Um, let's get some quick measurements here real quick. If I can find my calipers, here they are. Let's see how big this case is. Alright, let's do it from these crown guards first to the most extreme edge there to start off with. So it's about 51 or so from the widest point going from, let's try this for the thinnest point here in between these little notches about 48 or so from even a little bit less if you really get in there 46.5 or so in those little notches so it's a it's a hefty watch um, there's, the lugs are hard to measure here um, but we'll do our best to, to get a quick lug to lug measurement here for this unboxing video yeah it's quite quite large 55 from what might be considered the lugs of this watch and let's quickly check the thickness this this portion here looks like it's going to be thicker than other portions uh, we'll try that first we can all right that's about 18 millimeters or so let's try this side which seems to be a little bit thinner all right even if you get down in one of those notches up there 16.25 approximately so this is a this is a good size watch. Let me just give you a quick wrist shot. I'm wearing the Citizen Pro Master Tough today. Still really enjoy this watch. Let's take that off. Get a quick side by side between these two. You can see the size difference there. Let's try this one on real quick. problem for me is is that the the width of my wrist my wrist is about six and a half but the width is only about 53 millimeters so the lug to lug is going to be you know maybe one millimeter on each side hanging over my wrist which I'm not comfortable with wearing a watch like that but uh, this might be a, a more suitable for people with a little bit larger wrist than my six and a half inch wrist but uh, definitely a quality watch for sure um, I'm not <laughs> into wearing bright colors like this usually I kind of wear darker colors more often than not um, so I probably wouldn't wear this out um, but this might, you know, this color scheme might appeal to a lot of people. It might be something you wear uh, going to the beach or or whatever on vacation somewhere. Maybe you're going to the islands and you want to get something bright like this. This would be something great. Or maybe you just love this this colorway and it suits your style. Um, but for me, not so much. I'm I'm thinking about. And I want your guys' opinion on this. The next giveaway, once we reach a thousand subscribers, do you think a watch like this 
would be a good giveaway watch. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to shut off the lights real quick and test out that light, and then we'll close down this video. Hold on. Woo, that comes in pretty bright. Wow. It looks more yellow through the camera on the phone, but in person it has more of an orange glow and feel to it. it definitely shines really nice. Well, let me know what you guys think about this watch down in the comments below. Do you like it uh, as far as the color scheme goes? What are your thoughts on it? Do you think it'd make a good giveaway watch once we reach a thousand subscribers? Or do you not think this would appeal to as many people? Appreciate your thoughts on that. As far as price, I'm not going to give you the exact price that I paid for this watch in this video. You'll have to stay tuned to the full review, but I will say that it was less than $200 off of ebay shipped from japan so i'm happy with the price all right guys thanks for tuning in to this video j city reviews and leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time